So Ian, tell me about fences. Well, for thousands of years, people have used shepherds to look after their cattle. But we introduced barbed wire and wire fences to control where they graze. But with e shepherd, we can do away with all of that. Ian reckons you can get rid of fences. How? We can using this, which is the e shepherd virtual collar. It's got a couple of key features. One, it's solar power, mm -hmm. so the battery never needs to be charged. It's got a GPS unit in it, so it knows where it is on the planet and knows where the virtual boundary is. When you draw a fence on your computer, it sends those fence coordinates to the collar. As the animal approaches the, the virtual boundary, it gets an audio cue. If the animal goes no further or it stops or it turns around, that's all that happens. If it continues past the virtual boundary, it gets mild electrical stimuli, which turns the animal back. How mild? Pretty mild. Come on, give us a go. Oh, what? Actually, it's not too bad. So Cameron's shown us how you train the animals. Well, what's next? Well, the farmer uses a tablet or computer and they can draw virtual paddocks on a map of their property and then they can drag and drop their mobs of cattle into those paddocks oh, wow. and shepherds them across. You can muster from your living room. You can. You can be <laughs> sipping a latte in London and you can be managing your cattle in Cunnamulla. By creating virtual boundaries, eShepherd has removed physical boundaries. This has given farmers far more control over their stock and their land than they've ever had before. I believe that everybody's born creative and you don't need to be a designer to have ideas. Crane operators have been dealing with a particular little issue for thousands of years, this. The industry really needed somebody to solve the problem. They needed the Terminator. So you're the Terminator. Well, not exactly. This is the tagline Terminator. So you would have noticed I was using this to control the load while it was being lifted by a crane. This is known in the industry as a tagline. One of the problems with taglines is Eventually, they end up like this. This will work its way all the way up the rope. So what can you do? You can cut it. We'll use whatever we've got on hand. So, you know, maybe a saw, a pair of tin snips, uh, you know, a Stanley blade, um, a hammer on a sharp edge, or, you know, we could even use a grinder. I'll show you. Oh, OK, OK, OK. I've got it. Seriously, this looks like an accident waiting to happen. Well, yeah, I agree. <laughs> So while we're doing all this, we've got a crane driver sitting up there and we're chewing up time, chewing up money. Just because we've cut the rope doesn't mean the job's over. We then need to terminate the end of the rope. So we have the sticky tape option. It does the job, but it will fail. Then we have the West Country Whip, series of knots, back and forth. Uh, knotting takes about 10 or 20 minutes. So what does the tagline terminator do that these don't? It both cuts and crimps at the same time. So you grab a crimp, place it on the rope, place it in the jaws, come up, Click, job done. So do it once and do it right? Exactly. Can I have a go? Go for it. Right. So yeah, just okay. squeeze it around the rope. Yeah. Just squeeze the top in a little bit, that's it. Place it on the spike inside the bottom jaw, that's right. Okay. Uh, you just need to leave that edge in, yep, that's it. And go for it. Jump. Okay. That easy. Hey. Yep, <laughs> quick and easy. Most of us have never had to deal with this issue and probably never will. But for those in the industry, time is money, and that makes Tagline Terminator a game changer. Our team of industry leaders are judging some of the best design innovations for the year in Australia and New Zealand. The Cochlear Nucleus 7 brings in Bluetooth technology for answering phones, uh, listening to music, listening to television, into the world of a cochlear implant patient. Our world is shaped by noise, and it's so true that hearing is a gift. This next innovation gives that gift to those who need it most. So, Jan, I'm ageing. My eyes are going and I'm using these. But I understand if I'm an implant user, you can pretty much give me the gift of hearing for life. So that's the beauty of the cochlear implant because we bypass that part of the body that is deteriorating with the cochlear implant. The people that receive a cochlear implant will only do better as the technology gets better, as we have better algorithms. One of the big innovations with the Nuclear 7 is the app, isn't it? Absolutely, because it allows the user to really control and master their device in a very convenient way. So one of the biggest improvements was the direct audio streaming. What that means is um, I can stream any of the audio from my smartphone to my sound processor. 
So if I want to answer a phone call, just press hello and it streams directly to my processor. So this works in some ways like a headphone would for me, is it right? Exactly like that. So I can stream um, phone calls, music, videos, entertainment apps. So what about when you're not streaming? I mean, we're outside today. How does that work? The beauty of the Nucleus 7 processor is it has something called SCAN, which stands for Scene Analysis. So if it's a, a windy day like today and the wind's whistling over the microphones, it goes into the mode to reduce that. If I'm in a noisy cafe or a restaurant, it reduces the background noise. So it's constantly analyzing the environment and making the right settings for me so I don't have to worry about it. So Roger, as I get older and older, my hearing is going to get worse and worse. And mine's going to get better and better. <laughs> <laughs> Cochlear takes design deeper. They connect science and technology to a person's unique hearing needs. They're driven by the user's experience. And that's always at the centre of really great design. Two of my greatest passions are technology and beer. The problem with brewing is it's really fiddly, and I just can't get it right. This next innovation is going to solve that problem for me. I had to fight off the other presenters for this one. Who wouldn't want to do a story about beer? We always thought there was people that would love to brew their own beer at home, but don't have the time, don't have the space, don't like cleaning. So we went, oh, what about if we could take all those away? And the solution is the Brew Up Brewing System. What would you like to brew today? Do you have a check pills? We do. Probably the beauty of this system too is that you can do everything from your phone. So if we just go in here to the app, yeah. uh, we can order a check pills for you. All the ingredients will be delivered to you within five days. This will make you uh, 10 litres of beer, which is one carton, and it can be as simple as putting all that in, or you can customise it to however you want to make your own beer. So then all you do is you fill it up here with water, you take your ingredients, and sprinkle it around on the top. We can now start all of this from our phone here. We just go brew now. You will get notifications all along the way telling you how your brew's going, and then I'll tell you when it's finished, we'll keg it, and then uh, a couple of weeks later, we'll uh, try the fruits of your labour. Scott, Brew Art tells me my beer is ready. We put it into uh, two kegs for you. We got one ready here, and we've already tapped the other one for you. We actually fill into a bag that's inside the keg, and then when we tap them and you pull the handle forward here, it pumps air into the keg here. I'm ready. Squeezes, <laughs> squeezes the bag, and uh, that pushes the beer out. The beauty of that is right. no oxygen touches the beer, so you've got a lot longer shelf life, and you can get halfway through a keg, take it out, put it back in a couple of months later, and it's still fine. And there is my beer. Cheers, Scott. Cheers, Rob. Brewart brings personal brewing out of the shed and into the home. It's such a simple process. You can craft and share all kinds of different beers, but more importantly, your own signature brew.